This is an ocean monument, and pretty easily you can turn it into a garden farm, making you over 50,000 items per hour. But it's no secret that we like making the largest farm possible. And guess what we have right now? Not the largest farm possible. So today you will see us first train an ocean monument and then build a garden farm that is 10 times faster than the one we have right now. At first I thought about maybe upgrading our old garden farm, but then realized, is it really an upgrade if we completely destroy it first? So that's why we are taking a completely new ocean monument like this one next to our thousand sheep farm and building a brand new garden farm here. I hope you didn't forget that we need to train it first. I hope you didn't forget that we need to kill the elder gardens first. I hope you didn't forget to get the items for the build first. Wait, you're already collecting the items to train a monument? Oh yeah, we need a lot of sponges. I'm looking for the first ones right now. Like always, the collection of blocks was pretty boring, but that can't be said about our sponsor Opera GX, which is an internet browser built for gamers. You might remember the time when Minecraft was a browser game. Now we have come full circle, since Opera GX has created a mod in Minecraft that lets you use a real internet browser in-game. You can search for anything you'd like, even our YouTube channel for example. But that is not all the Opera GX browser can do. There is no lag or FPS drops, as Opera GX uses way less resources than any other of its competitors. Just like Minecraft, they offer a lot of mods for your browser. I installed Blockified, which can make your browser feel and sound like Minecraft does. Really relaxing. To make your move easier, you can just import all of your data from the previous browser faster than the baby zombie can run. What could be even better than that? You don't want to miss all of these cool features, so download Opera GX using the link below, but especially try out the GX mods they have made. Huge thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. While you brought the bread to our table, look what I got. Now this is what real work looks like. I already spent a lot of time collecting sponges, but we have to go and collect even more. But sponges are not the only thing we needed. We also duped about 30 shulker boxes of sand, and it wouldn't surprise me if we need even more than that. Then made about 12,000 cyan glass, which was surprisingly easy to make this time. We had the glass and only need to give them the right color. Alright, now we got our invisibility potions and the first thing is to head into the monument. We are looking to kill the big guys, who keep on making us so tired and giving us the mining fatigue. Tiredness problem out of the way. We got to building the glass circle around the whole monument. The diameter of this whole circle is over 160 blocks, which is huge. But it's all necessary to end up with the most powerful garden farm. This went quick, as after 45 minutes we already had the glass circle ready. Still not as quick as ordering a server from iSosting, our brand new hosting website for Minecraft servers. Anyway, we gotta clear the trash from the bottom of the sea now. By trash we mean kelp, which can regenerate water. So we are dealing with our opponents here, who don't want us to remove the water. Now comes the hardest part of this project, drinking all the water, but then I realized it is salt water, so we gotta use some other technique. As our first trainable era, we chose the temple itself, made a sand border around all of it, then divided it into 5 blocks wide sections using sand. Maybe it's just me, but I had a very hard time surviving with the guardians. Thanks to our huge sponge collection, we can do a couple of rows at a time, making the process just a tiny bit faster. Even when we think we are fast, we check the timer and can see this project has already taken us 5 hours and 30 minutes. So, it only looks like this remaining water has to be removed. Great, we are only at 10% done. But here is how we can speed up the process. First of all, all the sand rows are placed using this piston busher, and with this, we need to section out this whole water area. But then we remembered one amazing idea. So we are sectioning it all out a bit different, and you will see why after we are done. Yeah. 
you are probably not gonna believe this, but just dividing this whole area into 4 sand cubes took us over 4 hours. You could say this project is draining us out of energy. Anyhow, now for the genius plan. These 4 huge water lakes are clearly impossible to drain with sponges right now. So we are going to build flying machines here, that will do the draining for us. So just activating this flying machine here, and it should... Oh no, I messed something up. Nice, now you can see how it works. Clearing out the water here layer by layer. And all of this area is going to be built full of flying machines. These ocean trainers are designed by Mongo over 5 years ago. And only one block in the whole redstone has to be switched out to make this work. I'm so happy that things like this exist, because just look how fast they are draining. It has now been another 2 hours, but look at the progress now. It finally looks like the stuff is moving. Just gotta clear the bottom of these areas with our bare hands, that didn't get drained with the flying machines. To be completely honest, I thought this final draining will take us an extra hour, but no. Getting absolutely scammed every time I think we are close to being done. Not a good surprise, but this took us over 4 and a half hours to do. This just shows how good the redstone machines are at draining water. But let's remove the sand walls now. Only another 2 hours later and the removal process must continue with flattening the ground. Even the ocean monument has to get removed. But let's push the final step here and we can do some more exciting stuff. Everything here including the floor will be decorated later on. So don't worry about this looking horrible. It's already the longest project we have done this year, but I am happy to announce that we get to build the first part of our farm now, and in the nether that is. The nether collection area I'm starting to build will be crazy, because we need to store literally hundreds of thousands of items every hour. This is by far the biggest sorting system with shulker box loaders we have ever built in our world. But it's actually not fun to look at when the guardians are not spawning. That is a reason why now we will build the garden farm itself. Oh and this is the first time we actually found a good use for our stone hoarding. We had to craft over 25,000 stone stairs for the farm build. And here are all of them. The farm itself is very easy, there will be portals exactly where the ocean monument used to be, and between those portals we are adding flowing water. So the second a garden spawns here, they will be teleported into the nether for, let's say a skydive without the parachute. As we were building layer by layer, we had to fill the stairs with water, and the only way to do this is one by one. This is so annoying and will take us forever to build that way. The only better solution we found was to fill in the whole area with water and then place down all the blocks. While this made our build easier and saved us time, we got a lot of annoying fish that always seemed to push us. Or some fish that even wanted to poison us. Did we think this project will take us over 30 hours before we even get to decorating it? No, absolutely no.
I'm not going to complain the portal and water system do go 12 hours to build. So instead, let's just glaze at this beautiful obsidian cube. Amazing, I know. Anyway, being already 38 hours into this project, I'm not gonna bother you with any more of the build stuff. Instead, on the background right now, you can see the decoration being built and this was us doing it for 11 hours. But now, wow, with the help of editing, it's already done and our garden farm project is fully complete. Time to tour around in our 49 hour garden farm project. Starting of course with the overworld side. Maybe I'm biased because I spent 49 hours on this, but I think it looks epic. The cracks in the ground, the alien looking garden farm and the beautifully lit up border make up this beautiful farm. But I'm sure you want to see the main guys themselves, the guardians. So let's head into the nether side. And this is another crazy view I find hard to get my eyes off. This is a real time view of how many quarters are coming through and the production rates are on another planet. Producing a total of 600,000 items per hour. Of course we are not actually collecting all the raw code but everything else we keep using these shulker box loaders. As always the world donor for this build is down below but I also have to give a shout out to Wise Hosting for hosting our server with this crazy farm. Until next time, see ya, bye.